I was just kayaking upstream and it wasn't easy. It's hard to believe that some salmon will travel upstream 50 kilometers a day during spawning season to reproduce. There are five unique species of Pacific salmon in Canada, Chinook, Coho, Chum, Sockeye, and Pink. Pacific salmon can be found in the ocean off the west coast of Canada, as well as in the surrounding freshwater systems. Most salmon will migrate from the salty ocean to lay their eggs in freshwater streams, but there's some landlocked populations that remain in freshwater for life. Salmon start life in an egg. Once they hatch, they're called an alvin. Then as they grow, they become a fry, then eventually a smolt, which is when they usually make their way to the ocean where they continue to develop into an adult. The physical appearance of salmon can change dramatically during the spawning season. Some change color and males can develop a hooked nose called a kite. A mature female salmon will lay thousands of eggs in nests called reds, while a male salmon stays by her side fertilizing the eggs as they're released. The female will cover each red with gravel for protection. Less than 1% of her eggs will survive to become mature salmon due to predation, disease, competition for food, pollution, habitat loss, and unhealthily high water temperatures. Although salmon may not eat anything for up to six months prior to spawning, they do consume a great variety of food throughout the rest of their life. Young salmon will eat aquatic insects and zooplankton, while older fish will dine on shrimp, squid, crustaceans, leeches, and other smaller fish. When salmon are very young, they can be eaten by ducks, gulls, and wading birds. When they reach the ocean, they can be preyed on by bigger fish, sharks, seals, sea lions, and orcas. While traveling upstream, they can be consumed by bears, otters, eagles, and humans. And even when they die after spawning, many more creatures will eat them, like ravens, wolves, raccoons, insects, and other fish. The decaying carcasses of salmon also provide very important nutrients for vegetation in areas surrounding spawning habitat, making them a keystone species. For thousands of years, salmon provided First Nations with a primary source of protein throughout the year, whether eaten fresh, smoked, or dried. And for a time, salmon supported the highest population density of a region inhabited by Indigenous peoples in Canada. Salmon are at the base of many Western First Nations cultures, and their seasonal return to traditional spawning grounds is often celebrated. There are songs, dances, ceremonies, and legends based on the lives of the once abundant fish. The Coast Salish people include salmon on their totem poles and believe the fish represent life, abundance, prosperity, and nourishment. The arrival of Europeans in the late 1800s led to commercial salmon fishing. Over a 150-year period, overfishing combined with the introduction of non-native farm species resulted in more than a 90% reduction in wild salmon in the Pacific Northwest by 2008. Much has been learned from the past and protective legal measures have been put in place to support the future success of these important fish. Some Pacific salmon have been introduced to new water systems outside of their historical range and have established themselves successfully. Recreational fishing is changing too, as catch and release practices are increasing. There is a need for all people on the west coast of Canada to cooperate and ensure the responsible use of Pacific salmon. As a marine fish that swims more than a thousand kilometers inland to spawn, Pacific salmon face many challenges. Physical barriers, industrial activities like farming and forestry, road construction, development, and even recreational activities can alter, damage, or destroy freshwater salmon habitat. We can help Pacific salmon by reducing pollution in their watery habitat and by conserving and restoring the streams and rivers that are crucial to their life cycle. And remember, no matter where you live in Canada, wildlife is close by, so get out and see it.